with is problem 521. And that's from your textbook. Okay, what you have is you have a beam and there's a hinge at the point here. There's a roller here. This is point A, this is point B. Then you got loading sanders, you have force here. This force is 100 pounds per feet. Then you have another load here. That's 200 pounds per feet. And <coughs> the problem here is to determine the reactions at points A and B. So you have a beam and it has a hinge at point A, a roller at point B, and then you have the loads. You have a uniform distributor load from here up to here, and then you have a trapezoidal load from here up to here. The distance is here as 5 feet and the distance on the second half is 4 feet. <coughs> so the question here is to find the forces or forces due to reaction at point A and at point B. So <coughs> we need to draw the free body diagram. <coughs> is uh, hinge, so we know that there is going to be two unknown forces. I can show one unknown force as AX and we can show another unknown force by AY. So by <coughs> having a pin at point A, you can always place two unknown forces at that point and <coughs> since we don't know what the direction is going to be, then just to start the problem, we could choose the positive directions. I mean, if you had an axis going x to y, then that's going to be a positive direction for the force on x, and that's going to be a positive direction for the force on the y. So I chose the directions for both of these forces as positive. Then we have the <coughs> B, you have a roller. So there's going to be just one unknown force, which is normal to the surface, and that's going to be, let's say, P, Y. So this distance here, that's 5 feet, and then you got this distance here, that is the 4 feet. <coughs> then you have the applied force, the force at the top. Now to work with that force, we need to find the equivalent concentrated force and you need to find the location where the force will be acting. Now there are several, <coughs> several ways to work through this force. One of them would be to take this thing <coughs> like here <coughs> and treat this rectangle. So all of this as force 1. So I mean, instead of working with a trapezoid and a rectangle, you construct a rectangle all over the length of the beam. Then you <coughs> are left with the triangle, this triangle here. I could treat this as the load 2. So this way <coughs> we changed a rectangle and a trapezoid into a rectangle and a triangle. And for both of those, we know what should be the actual equivalent force. Now this ordinate will be 100 pound feet. The intensity is the same as the intensity here. Then this part on the triangle 
can be 200 minus 100 or 100 <coughs> pounds or feet. So <coughs> the first force that's F1. F1 is the equivalent loading as a result of this rectangle. And the area of the rectangle is 100. It's acting on a length of 9 feet. So the actual force is going to become 900 pounds. Then it's location. It means we need x1 bar. And that half of the length, which means L over 2. So in this case, L is 9. So it's 9 over 2, or 4.5 feet. So <coughs> the force loading is going to be here at a distance of 4.5 feet with the magnitude being 900 pounds. <coughs> this point is A and this point is B. Then the second force, that means F2. That's the triangle, it's a one half. It acts on a length of four and it has a height which is 100. So <coughs> the magnitude here is going to be 200 pounds. Then you need the distance x2. Now, <coughs> you're looking at this triangle, and that's the one you're working with. And we know for the triangle, I mean, if you had a triangle, then the location of the loading from the base is L third. And if this whole thing is L, then the actual location where you're going to place the equivalent load is always third from the base, or third of the length from the base. So <coughs> for this force, your actual force here, which is F2, as the magnitude of 200 pounds, <coughs> this length here should be a third or fourth, or four third. So x2 will be total length is nine. You subtract third <coughs> of the fourth, and that's going to be nine, one point three, three three, or <coughs> seven six six. And <coughs> point, and then you got seven point six six seven feet. Or <coughs> the distance from here up to here.